Um, it just didn't make me do backflips. It didn't have me doing cartwheels. You know, even though I cannot do any of those things as it is, I just didn't get that wow factor. I don't like oomph. Like we all like some oomph, okay? There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. What's up, divas and divas? So it's your girl. I'm back, of course, sitting here doing some videos. Okay, so you guys, first of all, I'm not really sure how I feel about these eyelashes today. Um, these are my favorites. These are one of my favorites from Vegan Lashes, the Barbies. But for some reason, I'm just feeling like they're not standing out. They're just not showing up. Just not too happy and proud about them. But you know. I'm gonna move past this. So, you guys, this video is going to be a U part wig. Okay, let me let me tell you, I have not done a U part wig tutorial in so long because you know my edges are thin and stuff, and like I don't really do a lot of them. But we're gonna do this because I have started making U part wigs too. Um, again, but um, I just figured a lot of people don't like lace fronts. Um, or full lace wigs or wigs they made like a half wig or a u-part wig and they're similar they're very similar you have to pull a little bit of hair out you know just a maneuver it a little bit different so uh, the hair that i received is from a company called na beauty or nay beauty i'm not really sure how you pronounce this it may be na beauty you guys will see that or nay beauty so they sent me the u-part and it's 20 inches right here and it came with these nice lashes like okay so they did send me some of their mink lashes these are really really pretty um very full i should have put you know what i should put these on i, I damn sure should put these on instead i did see them and said i was going to try them out and then i forgot when i was doing my lashes last night so i just kind of like totally forgot about it so this is their remy lace wig it's a u part um and it's a 20 inch 150 percent density wig so they do have a fall sale going on you can save 10 percent. you do get free shipping and if you follow them and repost your picture like say on facebook or instagram or youtube and you tag them at not beauty hair you will receive a 15 dollars discount for your next order is a kinky straight texture this is like one of my favorite textures in the whole world next to yaki like i like this texture because it's so like natural looking and realistic so i do like this texture um they did do a really nice job with the inside of the cap they did have the elastic right here and all i had to do is snip it away i did have to readjust the cones because they had one over here and then like one was right here and then one was over here it was like awkward the way they had it but it does have an adjustable strap so that's why my hair looks a little bit crazy and i'm trying to think where i should take my braids out at so and with further ado we're just gonna get into this video because i don't want to be too long but i do have like you know some consideration for you guys i don't want it to be too long you sitting here like oh my god what's your shut up come on I tried, I tried to be on time for once But I still lose my mind When you are on my phone and I don't have to be alone Oh my, oh my, your kitchen floor is cold Cause you are in the same room, touch me like DiCaprio How hard can it be? Oh, 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 oh,
need a light to make you mine Like guns of violent inside When you are in the bathroom, shower in your bad perfume Oh my, oh my, your dirty hands are cold When you are in the bed now, I'm talking Auntie Cabrio How hard can it be? Just a mag of stew The trouble seems so far away, but I don't know your name yet all right, you guys, so I decided to do the video again, or not even the video again. Well, yeah, because I just did the video again. But I decided to restyle the hair because, like, I really did not like how it looked, just like plain, straight, plain Jane. Even though I do like to wear my kinky, straight hair like that, it just was not suiting. It wasn't appealing. It wasn't attractive. It just didn't do anything for me. Like, seriously, when I looked at it, I was just like, um, it just didn't make me do backflips. It didn't have me doing cartwheels. You know, even though I cannot do any of those things as it is, I just didn't get that wow factor from it just looking like plain Jane straight. So I went ahead and I restyled it over the weekend on the mannequin head just to give it some oomph. You know what I'm saying? Like who don't like oomph? Like we all like some oomph. Okay. Like I restyled it with one of my wave heating tools like I have two of them this is the newest one that I've had um well it's not that new it's, it's newer than the other one it's probably like about six seven years old okay granted I haven't used it in like five years all right so it's still kind of like new so this I got like years ago from Walmart in New York okay and it's by Pro Beauty Tools now trust me this thing is like a monster when it comes to just like being handheld so it's a wave crimper. It's easy to get waves if you don't know how to do any. I thought I would just try something different because I love kinky hair, but kinky straight hair. But um, I just didn't get I just didn't get the vibe from it. So I went ahead and I restyled it. And let me tell y'all, I did I did try to do my own hair with this, and I did it kind of accomplished. But you know the thing with my hair is the way it's set up is it just refuses to stay straight. In this area right here my mama always told me I had like the most unruly hair that she has ever come across and I was just like boggled yes I use the word boggle of why she would say that to me I see what she means because lately it has been ve been very unruly to me as well and this portion right here you guys see how look at that it just never wants to stay straight. It doesn't want to stay gelled down. I don't know if it's because my scalp is so hot. I don't know what's going on, but I have to use like all types of super hold gel, like Gorilla Gel or whatever you call that, Gorilla Snot Gel. That is like my number one favorite. Like it'll work. Got to be, it'll work somewhat. Like it really didn't work. It got to be on my own, but you know, it is what it is for the time. And so I really could not leave it out as you know, I would want to have done with the U part. So I had to do this with it, which is great. You know what I'm saying? If that's the style that you're going for. So I did this particular style in the unit, the U part. Now, granted, the hair is very thick, like not really thick, but it's thick enough. And I was, I was pleasantly surprised that it worked out for this. Now, trust in Didi, you may not want to put as much hair in one of these wave crimpers because you will be there forever. The wave's not going to come out just like that. It does take a little bit more time to do this than actual curling, or maybe not so. It may not, but it all depends on the hair texture. So the hair came out really nice, especially with the wave crimper. I think I like the style a lot. You know, I'm very plain and simple, but I, I do like these type of styles. Like, I'm very plain, Jane. Like, I still want to look cute, but I don't want to have to go through the pain and suffering of doing it. You know what I'm saying? So for the most part, the hair worked out really great. Um, it is a little bit big for my taste, like meaning the cap size is a little bit bigger than normal for me. Um, so I'm glad that I have the skills to just make this into a half wig, which I'm going to do. I'm going to make it into a half wig. 
I like to wear the half wigs a lot better than the U parts because for me, a U part doesn't always work that great because of just my hair is so fine that the combs slip through and, and it starts sagging right here. So it's kind of a little bit difficult for me to wear U part a lot, even if I have anchor braids, you know, not nah beauty hair. And I think that's how they say it, nah, nay, you know what I'm saying? It's all good, whatever it is. They do have some good quality hair. I'm not going to say about all the hair because I don't really know. But I do know that this held up and it came out really nice. I do like the texture a lot. It's soft, it's soft and it does resemble like, amazingly, it does resemble like, you know, African-American hair that has been like either permed, relaxed or blow dried. It did come out really nice, but I do like the style better with a little bit of pizzazz in it. Like I need some pizzazz and this is the style that I wanted to give it was a little bit of some crimps so if you guys are wondering what type of makeup i got on today this is strictly strictly shop miss a makeup the only thing that's not shop miss a is my foundation everything else is shop miss a from the highlight to all the eyeshadow to the brows to the lashes to the mascara even to the lips. Okay. And if you haven't seen my latest video on their holiday collection, then make sure you check it out. I'll definitely post it in this video for you guys because they got some really nice stuff for the holidays for only a dollar. Okay. Okay. So you guys, let me know what you think about this style. Does it look better than the straight? Because I mean, like the straight was cute, but I think like this gave us some pizzazz. Now I look like a little school girl. But I love you guys. Stay diva and delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Share it with whoever you want to share it with. If you guys could give it two thumbs up, and I'm pretty sure you would. So since you can't, send it to somebody else so they can give it a thumbs up for you. So stay tuned. Stay diva and delicious. Stay beautiful and blessed. And all the information will be linked down below for you guys. And on that note, I'm out.